Hi guys, it's Pierre. Um, now that I'm back with uh, Toro Rosso, I'm gonna start doing this Toro Rosso vlog. So um, now we're gonna do a, a double one because Spa was really busy. So yeah, starting with Spa, um, straight after the shutdown on Monday, back at the factory in Faenza, doing the, the seat fit, which was actually quite long, but really good. Um, yeah, went to the factory beginning of the afternoon. We did, um, yeah, two seats. For the for the first race of spa and uh, we actually finished work at midnight so yeah the mechanics have been uh, been really good working um, all night long to really make sure i was comfortable in the car and, and that's what we we managed to do um, then yeah we went to spa uh, first race back with the team so of course a lot of new things for me just starting with the car, everything felt different. Um, the position, the steering, the throttle, of course like quite quite strange and difficult at the time, the first few laps to get used to it. And then after I started to get more comfortable. Um, and then, yeah, I managed to do the all free practice, all fine. And then, yeah, so going into quali was quite messy. We had uh, yeah, not the, a bit of traffic in the first run. I think we were in P16. And then starting with the second run, uh, we just got the, the red flag starting the, the lap. So could not um, make the improvements. Um, so I think we qualified 16th and, and 17th with Daniel. A bit frustrating to have this red flag. Wasn't ideal, but that's that's what happened um, on the on the Saturday afternoon. Saturday night, of course, really really tragic, um, and yeah, just horrible news um, happened after after the following uh, yeah after the crash that Antoine and Korea had in Orouge. So yeah, I remember I was. Uh, having an appearance in the in the paddock club at that time and just I, I exited I just watched the screen to follow the race and um, and this crash like it literally uh, stopped for 30 seconds and then there was this crash um, and yeah suddenly uh, straight away I understood something bad had happened and I just could not really figure out which car was involved um, and then yeah the, the race was stopped it was really really like terrible atmosphere in the in the old paddock until uh, until we had the news um, that yeah Antoine um, Antoine passed away so it was uh, clearly yeah most uh, horrible day I've uh, I've had since uh, since a lot of time and um, I just could not believe it so um, yeah we got all together with Charles with my family um, all the, the the close people and but then, yeah, there is nothing in this kind of moment. There is not nothing you can do uh, to feel better. So, yeah, it was a really, really difficult Saturday night. Um, same Sunday morning as well. Just uh, tried to focus on, um, on on the job for for the race in the afternoon, but was just uh, just really tough. Um, and then, yeah, so we started in P15 um, with the penalties. And yeah, through the race, I uh, managed to, to feel more and more comfortable in, in the car. Um, we decided to go quite aggressive and pit quite early in the race. Um, and then, yeah, just try to attack and, and defend with other guys on softer compound in the second part of the race. And we managed to recover in P9. So yeah, really happy to, to have scored these two points for the first team, uh, first race back with Tor Rosso. Um, and yeah, it was uh, was a good race, good race for us. Um, and yeah, a lot of a lot of new things learned with the with the team. So a good base to to start from. So um, back to back, um, Spa and, and Monza, um, team's home race in um, in Monza. So yeah, of course you can feel the. Could feel the excitement from all the team, um, yeah, because most of the people are, are just Italian, all the, the team members. So yeah, really important one for us. And yeah, the the track itself, one of the fastest of the season, reached 350 kph um, down the straight. So always gives quite a, a lot of adrenaline. Um, yeah, really low low rear wing, quite high speed corner. So you're always quite on the on the edge, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool track. Yeah, the pace all weekend's been uh, been strong. We've been fighting for uh, for top ten, um, FP1, FP2, also pretty close in, in FP3. So 
Um, coming here, we, we thought, OK, it might be quite tricky. On our side, we had the, the penalty because we, uh, we changed the engine um, this weekend. So we knew we had to focus on, on the long run and the race. But still, the pace was, um, was good. Uh, also, on my side, I was feeling more and more comfortable in the car, pushing a bit more and getting um, more laps um, in, in that car. And um, yeah, qualifying, we pushed in Q1 just to see what we, we had. Uh, and the pace was, was actually good there. We were ninth fastest. I felt uh, good in the car, managed to, um, to yeah, uh, get the, the balance I wanted. In, in Q2, we used, uh, used tires just to make sure we will not qualify in Q3 um, due to the engine penalty. And then, yeah, coming on Sunday, uh, especially with uh, Charles uh, being on pole position, Ferrari on pole, you can just feel like all the excitement um, everywhere, like just during the parade, uh, Tifodi is getting, getting really mental and um, yeah, also on the grid you just feel the excitement growing, the adrenaline um, riding in, inside yourself because uh, yeah, just uh, due to the atmosphere, the, the fans and all the crowd uh, makes, uh, makes there. So. We started from the back, um, 17s, uh, with, the, with the engine penalty. And yeah, we had a, a really good first lap. A good start, went on the outside of turn one, managed to overtake three, four cars. Um, I was, yeah, 14s, um, 13s uh, after in lap one behind, uh, behind Daniel. So things were, were looking good. Um, and then I think it was lap five or six, Lens. Uh, at these incidents with uh, with Seb, so it was yeah, not facing the wrong way in um, in Ascari as I came and he just restarted in front of uh, in front of me and uh, yeah, I was pretty close so he had to go in the gravel to avoid him, uh, which made him lose yeah two position and, and quite a lot of time but yeah at least nothing nothing bad happened because uh, it could have been a lot worse but yeah just impacted our race quite a lot um, next lap. Roma, uh, who passed us during this incident, spun in front of me the next next lap. So we lost 10 seconds during this uh, during these two laps. Um, yeah, which cost us quite a lot at the end of the of the race. We finished 11, three three four seconds from P9. So uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> always a bit a bit frustrating to to miss these points, especially for the home race um, of the team. But uh, on the other end, we started from the back of the grid. We had the pace to, uh, to come back um, and to fight for the points. So still uh, promising for, for the coming weekends. So guys, um, yeah, this was a, a quick recap of the last two weeks. Now we keep the work I'm going to the simulator and I'll see you in uh, Singapore. We good?